Beyond the normal inspections, you may want to do a, an asbestos inspection, especially if the home inspector had pointed out that there was a possibility of there being asbestos tile on the floor in the basement. Most of these houses were built prior to, to 1980, and the other type of inspection would also, which would fall under the same type of environmental agency, is lead-based paint. Lead-based paint was in use until 1978, or just before 1978, and we do see that mainly on siding, some roofs, some insulations, and if it is there, it does have to be remediated. One of the other things is radon. Radon gases in Northern Virginia are very prevalent, but radon gas is where there are veins that run underground and they have cracks and the radon can come through that and it can be very harmful. The good news is it can be remediated and everything can be fine. If you have a large lot, there's a good chance that you're going to have well and septic. You'd want to have that tested as well. Well, on wells, one of the big issues is bacteria. It can be fixed, it's not impossible, it's just a little bit time consuming, but you definitely want that checked. And in terms of the septic, you want some information on that in terms of when was it last pumped? Has it ever had any work done on it? For instance, like the distribution box has been replaced. What has happened with this? And one good way to do this is to also go to the, to the county health department because they have records of anything that has been done on the property in terms of the well and septic. So that helps give you some information as well. And what you, you would do is hire a company to come out and do these inspections. And I always recommend that the buyer pays for it and gets the people to come out because that way there's no problem with you being there. If you would like further information, please contact Focus ANOVA.